In the sitting position, we can assess muscle strength. And one of the tests I do is to look for an extension leg. I ask the patient to extend the knee as much as possible. Can you straighten out your leg? And then passively, I further extend the knee if possible. And if I can further extend the knee, it means that there is an extension lag present, which means uh, the, the knee is just lagging and can't be fully extended by the patient actively. Um, and that indicates that there's weakness of the quadriceps muscles. The other test that we do sitting is to assess quadriceps and hamstring strength directly. So for this test, I uh, put my hand above the ankle anteriorly to te test the quadriceps strength and I ask the patient to push out against me as hard as they can without moving the joint and that is normal strength. And then I'll ask them to push in against the examining table while my hand is placed posteriorly. Pull as hard as they can there's some weakness of the hamstrings in this case. Okay, for quadriceps atrophy, we assess the bulk and size of the quadriceps muscle, and particularly paying attention to the medial side. And in this case, um, you can see the concavity on the medial side indicating loss of uh, quadriceps muscle. Normally this would be bulky here, particularly medially. And it helps comparing to the other side too sometimes, um, as one side may be atrophied and the other may be normal. In this case there's atrophy on both sides and it's graded as either mild or severe. In this case we have severe atrophy.